in Matthew chapter 8, Jesus has this amazing experience with his disciples, and then he gets in a boat, and he's exhausted. He is, like, exhausted. So he takes a nap, and he's laying there in the boat, sleeping. Now, some of us don't really fully grasp the humanity of Christ. All we see is the deity of Christ, but he's also fully, fully man, fully God, fully man. So he got tired, and he was tired, and he exerted himself physically. Uh, and a lot of times, ministry is exhausting. I know, I need a nap on Sundays. Okay, get this. So Jesus lays down the boat, and he goes to sleep, and then a storm comes up, and they're just being ravished on the Sea of Galilee. Choppy storms going. These fishermen, these experienced sailors are afraid they're going to lose their life, and Jesus is sleeping. They wake him up and said, Master, Lord, save us. And Jesus wakes up and he goes, Dude, I said we're going to the other side. What's wrong with y'all? Peace be still. And he calmed the sea. And they all freaked out. And they, in fact, they worshiped him. So all I'm saying all this to say this, that in the storms of your life, you might think Jesus is asleep in the boat, but he's getting up and he's calming your storms. And when he says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. And so I want to give you some promises. He says this, that um, I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor God's seed beg for bread. I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. I've loved you uh, before I knew you, and I'm going to calm you and, and care for you. I'm the one who gives you life when there's death. I'm the one that gives you hope when there's no hope. I'm the one who gives you peace in the middle of your fears. I'm the one who calms your anxiousness. I get up in your life and say, peace, be still. Now, here's the cool thing. Jesus can calm the storm or carry you through the storm. Either way, it's all about Jesus. And he is the master of our lives. I don't know what you're in, what storm you're in. I don't know what storm you're going through. You're going to go through or the one you just come out of. But I want to tell you this. Jesus is the master of your storm. And he's the master of your life. Trust him in the middle of the storm because he's trustworthy. He might just get up and say, peace be still, and then everything calm. Or he might say, I'm going to go with you through this so you can learn to trust me more.